Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Enrique Eddy and for today's video we are back again with another vlog style video. It's a beautiful night here in Ottawa. It is currently 9.40 p.m. Beautiful weather. So guys, for today's video I want to talk to you about the fear, all right? The fear when it comes to chasing your dreams and chasing your goals. So with that said, let's get straight into it. So talking about this fear when it comes to chasing your dreams and chasing your goals. So what is it? Well, it's the fear that you feel inside of you when you dream, you know, when you think about what you want in life and you see yourself and you say, I love that, you know, I can see myself living here. You know, this is what I want out of my life. I want to be like this, whatever, right? It's that fear that you get from within, right? When you feel, right? And you just scream, you know, you just say, you know, I love it. You know, this could be me. I want this to be me. But first, I need to clarify something very important, right? If you have that dream, you know, you have that goal, you want to achieve that thing in life, you know, but you're not putting in any work at all. It's only going to be a dream and it's going to remain a dream, all right? Things are dreams when you don't put in the work, right? So supposing you understand this, right, and you are actually putting in the work, you know, to achieve your dreams, to chase excellence, you know, and achieve your dreams, you know, your goals, all that good stuff, you know. Well, first of all, congratulations. I congratulate you. Not a lot of people are doing this, right? But supposing that you are, right, you can still feel that fear inside of you, you know, of what happens if I achieve this, you know, or I want to achieve this, you know, dreaming. And you might even feel it worse right now because now you're actually putting in the effort, you know what I mean? Now, we got to think, right? We got to analyze. Why, okay? Why do we feel this fear within us, right? When it comes to dreaming, when it comes to thinking about our goals and then actually chasing them. Well, you know, obviously there's always a fear of failure, right? But that should never be a fear. I mean, unless it's the only thing you're capable of doing, I understand, but it should never be a fear. Why? The fear of being ridiculed? The fear of having people laugh at you? Who cares? <laughs> be proud of yourself for going after it, right? It doesn't matter, you know? The fear of failure is not a good one, all right? But the fear that I'm talking about, the fear from within, it's a very powerful one. It's a very special one. And it's a very good one. And you need to use it to your advantage because, like I said, why do we have that fear? Oh, well, if you have a dream that's very big, if you have a goal that you want to achieve and you have this deep fear within you, you know why it is? It's because it would really change your life. Achieving that dream, achieving that goal would really, really change your life. It would make a massive difference, right? So, I'll give you an example to explain this better, right? So, supposing it's a goal that doesn't really scare you, you know? Supposing, let's say, your goal is to eat out every once a week, you know? There's four weeks in a month, all right? So, four times a month, all right? So, whether you achieve that, right? Even if you don't achieve it, you know, you're not going to really be angry, you know? It is what it is, whatever, right? Because, I mean, sure, it's your goal, but it doesn't scare you because, I mean, hey, it might be very special to you, but it's really nothing, you know? It's really nothing deep, right? But now, supposing, let's say, you want to get a raise, right? That's not, I'm sorry, voice crack. <laughs> it's not really a dream, right? But it is a goal, right? That could really scare you, obviously, you know? Maybe you're afraid of, of what your boss is going to say, what your boss is going to think. But you know why it could really scare you? Because getting that raise could really change your life. That extra 100, 200, 500, 1,000 bucks that you could be paid. It could really change your life, right? Investing it, saving it for your retirement plan, right? Using some kind of other expense, whatever it may be that you plan on doing with that money, having that extra cash could really change your life, right? So this fear is amazing, okay? And it's really good, it's very special, right? You dream big, you have this fear, it's because if you achieve it, it will really change your life. However, don't get me wrong, okay? It's good to have this fear, but you can't let it control you and you certainly can't let it stop you from trying to chase your goals, to chase your dreams, all right? The neighborhood that I live in has so many car dealerships. I mean, just look. Well, there's a restaurant right there. Behind there, there's a car repair. But look at this. We got Volkswagen. We got, I think there's Mazda or Hyundai over there. I don't know. So, yeah, this is where I'm at. I'm going to go walk here, take a look at the cars. But anyways, guys, so, like I said, you know, don't get me wrong. It's a very good fear, and it's very powerful. But you can't let it control you, okay? All right? You can't let it control you, and you can't let it be the reason for you to not achieve your dreams or achieve your goals. There should be no reason, all right? No reason for you to not even try, all right? Try at least. But now, like I said, you can't let it control you. So how are you going to do this, all right? How are you going to control the fear instead of it controlling you? Well, the way you're going to do this is you're going to analyze your goal 
you're gonna analyze your dream and you're gonna break it down into milestones okay your dream is this massive thing you want to accomplish well first we need to do is break it down to milestone to milestone to milestone to milestone, to milestone. take these cars for example right i'm here in the car this is a perfect example right supposing you want i don't know that you know suv and it's very luxurious it's the best one they have okay well first off you got to start from the bottom okay something more simple more simple you start elevating you start elevating you start elevating 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 and then boom you reach your goal okay but you didn't do that overnight and you didn't do that you know just oh i achieved my goal no you did it by the milestone by the milestone by the milestone so i'll give you an example for me personally i said this recently all right i am going to be a professional mma fighter and i want to be the second the first sorry not second the first two division mexican champ of the ufc that really scares me right that's <laughs> it really scares me it's the goal that really scares me but it's not the one that scares me the most the one that scares me the most is my second goal and it's to be the first fighter in the ufc to be a three division champ simultaneously <laughs> i mean i don't know if you understand nobody's done that i mean conor mcgregor he's been a double champ you know but he wasn't a three-time champ you know the guys who've either been double champs or who tried to reach double champ status like izzy i mean we're talking about the best of the best you know the guys who were either the best at some point or the best right now they weren't able you know they haven't done it right now right so you can understand how it's something that really tenses me up right but I'm going to go for it because it's my dream and I'm not going to waste my life. I'm going to live my life trying to achieve my goals and chase excellence. Nothing else. Don't chase women. Don't chase friends. Don't chase money. Chase excellence. That all comes. But I'm not going to do it overnight, right? I'm not going to be this awesome Enrique Eddie, you know? No. That's going to happen milestone, milestone to milestone. So what am I going to do? Well, like I said, I'm moving very soon in a few weeks, all right? And even if I wasn't, you know, everything is locked down here. So I can't go back to an academy here to train MMA or whatever. So what I'm going to do is as soon as I get to my new location, which will be very soon. As soon as, you know, within the first day or two that everything is established and all that. I'm getting myself to the academy. It's one of the best in the United States. And they have some of the best coaches in the world. I'm getting myself there. And I'm training. Busting my ass off. Once a day, twice a day. However many times my coach tells me to go. And then once I'm, you know, freshened up again, nice and loose. Within a few weeks, I want to go back to competing in Jiu-Jitsu. I only did it once, you know. I only won one match. I did three. But I love it, you know. And it's where I need to start, okay. So I'm going to do that, you know. Do that. My goal is to compete a couple times a year. Ideally, at least once a month. You know, maybe, you know. That's what I want to do, okay. It will really work up my game of Jiu-Jitsu. Then after a while, you know. After some training. And when my coach tells me I'm ready. I'm going to go and do my first amateur Muay Thai fight. And then another one. And then another one. And then another one. While training jiu-jitsu, you know, keeping my competitions right. And then once I'm ready, I'll do my first amateur MMA fight. And that's how my amateur MMA career is going to go. You know, one fight over the other, over the other, over the other. Making the improvements that are necessary, listening to my coaches. And once I'm ready, I'm going to turn pro. All right? And then after that, it's just a matter of time, you know, obviously of, you know, getting the knowledge, you know, doing it, putting in the work. And following my pro career. Following and following, following. And then one, until one day, I, you know, get to higher league, a higher league, a higher league. And then I get to the UFC, you know. I don't know. They offer me a contract. I, I go on the Ultimate Fighter. It's crazy because I'm watching the Ultimate Fighter now. However, the opportunity presents itself. I get it. And I'm in the UFC, okay. And then after that, it's getting in the top 15 rankings. Beating guys, top 10, top 5. Just simply mauling people. Mauling for mauling for mauling. Earning my title shot. And then becoming champ. And then defending. And then becoming another, you know. So, those are, that's my goal. But that's the milestones and how I'm going to achieve it, right? It's not going to be something overnight, okay? It's really not, okay? And, you know, it all sounds very easy. It's The hard part is putting in the work, which I'm absolutely going to do because I want to achieve, right? But it's a lot harder than actually saying it, you know what I mean? But that's how you're going to control your fear instead of letting it control you. You got to break your goal down into milestones, okay? And then after that, you got to focus on each milestone, you know? You got to enjoy it, okay? Because... If you're not enjoying this journey, even if it's your goal, what's the point? You need to enjoy it. You need to be having fun. Have fun reaching your goals, right? That's the way it's supposed to be, guys. Really, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go after my goals, and I'm going to achieve them. I know I will. And you can too. There's no excuses. I've said it before. I'll say it again. Do you want to be the old guy who's dying and saying, fuck, what if? What if I would have tried? 
Or do you want to be the old guy who's dying and saying, you know, yeah, I tried. Didn't go my way, you know. I tried, actually. Tried hard. Didn't go my way. Or I tried, and I became a fucking millionaire. I made a new car brand. I opened a new technology for airplanes. <laughs> the sky's the limit, guys. The sky's the fucking limit. Go after your dreams. Go after your goals. Don't waste your life. Don't live a pointless life, a meaningless life. Go after them. Chase excellence. And don't let the fear control you. The fear control you of not going after your goals. And the fear controlling you of stopping it, alright? You only got one life. Make the right choice. You're either going to waste your life, right? Or you're going to go after your goals. It's one choice. Make the right one, guys. Hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you learned something new, right? Put in the work. Go after your goals. Have that fear within you. Have it controlled. And let it out when you have to. And obviously, enjoy the fucking journey. I'll see you next time.